Welcome to another episode of SG Style Notes. Today we'll be sharing our take on five starkly different ways to rock a fedora. For centuries, a fedora has been a stylish accessory and an effortless way to add an ounce of class to any ladies or gentlemen's outfit. Now, there certainly are a wide range of fedora styles from shorter brim trilby and pork pie hats, medium to wide, flat brim, curved brim, unfinished brims, and even ranch style fedoras. The list definitely goes on. For the purpose of this video, we've opted to stick with our Joffrey fedora in camel. This is a slightly wide, but honestly more of a medium width fedora. We love this hat simply because of its versatility and minimalist construction. This makes it perfectly fitting for just about any event or occasion you can think of. This hat features a four inch diamond crown, a stiffened finished brim, leather band decoration, and a shell casing ornament. Take things to the next level by adding your favorite pin or feather for even more personality. There literally are endless ways to amplify your style with a classy fedora. But first, let's take a moment to illustrate the best way to pull off a fedora for darker skinned gents and all men with a good show of facial hair. We certainly recommend a straight lid fitment. Now for straight haired gentlemen without facial hair, we'd really suggest a top of the crown fitment instead. This allows you to show off a little bit of your hairstyle while adding more substance and swagger to your overall look. Now that we've got our fitment all squared away, let's dive into our stylish looks. For our first look of the day, we've chosen to go with a pair of our chocolate tassel loafers in suede. We've kept things simple and understated with a pair of black dress trousers, a charcoal double-breasted blazer, and a navy turtleneck. We've also added a patterned red silk pocket square for a punch of color and for the perfect sartorial look. This outfit is just perfect for date nights in the city, upscale lounges, or more formal occasions. Let's just say sophistication. With our second look, we took a slight turn towards a casual approach, starting things off with our double-breasted vest in navy plaid. This is an effortless way to dress up just about any casual look, especially when paired with dark wash jeans. Last but not least, we've added our best-selling rogue wingtip sport boots in cognac and tweed for a pop of color. We've also added a white mandarin collar shirt to provide some casual yet sophisticated contrast. This is simply an awesome look for running around the city, casual meetings, and follow-ups with familiar faces and clients. Or better yet, a work day or meet up at your favorite coffee shop. Who doesn't love an iconic pair of sneakers? For our third look, we've opted for a sporty get up and go ensemble. Here we chose a classic pair of Nike vintage 77 blazers paired with black jeans and our black suede trucker jacket. This look is all about refined street style comfort. Brunch, lunch, or an evening out with friends. This is definitely a great off work vibe while still managing to look the part. We like this look simply because it provides a clean youthful feel while tying back a sense of maturity with a fedora.
For our fourth look, we've opted for a pair of casual cotton sneakers courtesy of Madewell. We also added a well-ironed and modern fitting pair of navy shorts, and lastly, a plaid mattress shirt from J. Crew. We tied this perfect daytime look with a pair of iconic sunshades. This look is obviously perfect for hangouts at the beach or a brunch date with that special lady. For our final look, we went with a pair of coffee-colored stacked heel Damien Chelsea boots. We've paired these versatile boots with distressed denim and our rogue stealth biker jacket. Lastly, we added a green shamarg scarf to add a little more character to this bold look. When nightlife calls, we're a huge fan of this laid-back yet aggressive dose of both class and swagger. That concludes this episode of Style Notes with five starkly different ways to pull off a fedora without looking or feeling like a cowboy or douchebag. We certainly hope you've enjoyed this segment, have become more confident with your fedora styling, and are the least bit inspired to add a stylish lid to your closet. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your subscription fuels our motivation. Thanks in advance and until next time, gents. Aspire to inspire. Peace.